Horticos. Welcome back to our channel Horticos World. Dear friends, in this video let us try to learn about classification of fruit crops based on different criteria in a simple way. Before going through this video, if you are here for the first time, don't forget to like, subscribe and click on bell icon for more updates exclusively on horticulture. Now, without any delay let's get started. Firstly, classification based on nature of growth. A herbaceous plant is a plant that does not have much wood and its stems are green and soft. These plants grow fast and produce flowers and many seeds in a short period of time. Examples are banana, pineapple. A shrubaceous plant is a woody plant smaller than a tree, usually having multiple permanent stems branching from or near the ground. Examples are karonda, falsa and pomegranate. And a woody plant is a plant that produces wood as its structural tissue and thus has a hard stem. Examples are mango, bear, guava, apple, sapota, peach, zamun and pear. Then, classification based on climatic requirement. Tropical fruit crops are generally evergreen and extremely sensitive to cold frost. They do well in moist warm climate but are capable of withstanding dry weather sometimes. Examples are mango, banana, pineapple, sapota, jackfruit, papaya, custard apple, carambola, persimmon, cashew and coconut and subtropical. Fruit crops grown between temperate and tropical climatic conditions, either deciduous or evergreen, can withstand low temp. Temperate. Fruit crops which require as exposure of specific chilling requirement for certain period without which they do not flower. Generally they are deciduous and start frost. Examples are apple, pear, peach, plum, almond, walnut, apricot, pecan nut, hazelnut, cherry, and strawberry. Arid and semi-arid, here. Arid regions receive little precipitation of less than 10 inches of rain per year. And in semi-arid regions, receive 10 to 20 inches of rain per year. Examples are bay, onla, ananaceous that mean custard, apple fruits, pomegranate, date palm, fig, bale, falsa and jamun. And now classification based on continuation of growth. Evergreen trees are one, which has leaves throughout the year, that are always green and do not fall out. Examples are, mango, citrus, litchi, sapota, mangosteen, avocado, loquat, jamun, egg fruit, karomda, jackfruit and omla in tropical regions. Then, deciduous trees which shed their leaves every autumn or in dry seasons. And they are mostly mostly broad-leaved. Examples are, apple, pear, peach, plum, apricot, kiwi, persimmon, trifoliate orange in citrus species, pomegranate, fig, bale and omla in subtropical conditions. And semi-deciduous or semi-evergreen is a botanical term which refers to plants that lose their foliage for a very short period, when old leaves fall off and new foliage growth is starting. And custard apple is example for it. Next, classification based on type of fruit. Home type is present in apple, pear, quince, loquat, stone or droop in plum, apricot, peach, almond, bear, mango, coconut, jamun, and cherry. Berry in grape, guava, banana, papaya, sapota, date, kiwi, and avocado. Modified berry are balosta in pomegranate and amphizarica in wood apple and bale. Hesperidium in citrus species. Multiple fruit types sorosis in pineapple, jackfruit, mulberry, breadfruit. Cyconus in fig. Capsule in carambola and all are then. Nut type of fruits in litchi, rambutan, walnut, chestnut, pecan nut. And aggregate fruits like aterio of berries in custard apple, aterio of akins in strawberry, aterio of droplets in blackberry, longan berry. 
then next classification based on edible parts of fruits mesocarp and epicarp is edible in olive peach plum persimmon cherry falsa karonda jamun only mesocarp is edible in tamarind sapota papaya mango passion fruit pericarp is edible in custard apple avocado bear date palm mesocarp and endocarp is edible in onla banana apricot fleshy thalamus edible in apple pear quince lockwood that means all palm fruits and strawberry cotyledon or seed part is edible in cashew nut almond pecan nut pistachio nut walnut chestnut and others are fleshy receptacle in fig important one succulent placenta in bale and wood apple pericarp and placenta in grape whereas thalamus and pericarp in guava fleshy aril is edible in litchi endosperm in coconut juicy placental hairs in citrus juicy seed coat or aril in pomegranate bracts and perianth in jackfruit pineapple and then fleshy peduncle in cashew apple and now classification based on ripening behavior climactic fruits are having high rate of respiration at the time of ripening examples are mango plum guava apricot papaya avocado fig durian sapota blueberries passion fruit kiwi jackfruit bay pear raspberries banana cherry moya apple nectarine peach fado guava karonda anona non climacteric fruits are having simple gradual decline in rate of respiration at ripening examples are lemon onla litchi falsa lime loquat oranges olive grape pomegranate pineapple rambutan bear jamun cherry strawberry before continuing dear friends it takes lot of efforts by our team to compile the information and present in a simple way in single video so if you guys find our efforts useful then please support us by like sharing this video and don't forget to subscribe and get notified for more informative content let's get back to the topic based on photoperiodism long day plants are passion fruit apple plantains short day plants are strawberry pineapple cultivar smooth cane and coffee day neutral plants are papaya guava and banana Another major one is classification based on growth pattern. Single sigmoid growth curve in mango, apple, date palm, pear, sweet orange, lemon, strawberry, citrus. Double sigmoid growth curve is observed in peach, plum, nectarine. cherry apricot grapes sweet cherries fig olive raspberry almond pineapple anona and triploid growth curve in kiwi fruit then classification based on bearing habit of fruit trees terminal bearing of old season are mango litchi banana pineapple Terminal bearing of current season are jackfruit, pecan and loquat. Axillary bearing of old season are apple, custard apple, pear, peach, plum. And current season are coconut, papaya, orange, guava, passion fruit. And we observe mixed bearing in pomegranate. Citrus, carambola. Major 1 classification based on inflorescence. solitary in almond apricot guava peach quince trifoliate orange raceme 
blackberry blueberry gooseberry raspberry wild cherry solitary in sapota falsa citrus persimmon spadix in coconut date palm banana eggnut cinnamon apple guava durian falsa catkins in mulberry chestnut walnut pecan nut fascicle in sweet orange saw cherry bay plum hypanthodium in fig pomegranate corum in pear tanical in grapes jamun loquat mango pistachio nut then some of major inflorescences are like dichotomic raceme in strawberry compound panicle in avocado axillary panicle in papaya branched panicle in lychee racemose in onla compound spike in pineapple classification based on type of fruit bud are simple bud present in mango date palm coconut apricot plum cherry and mixed bud present in guava grapes bay pomegranate apple pear cashew classification based on flowering habit ever flowering trees are fig papaya non seasonal flowering in mango gregarious flowering is seen in quince and seasonal flowering in guava litchi apple and pear and then type of placentations are axil placentation in banana citrus guava marginal placentation in litchi parietal placentation in papaya basal placentation in bay lastly classification based on seed storage orthodox seeds are desiccation tolerance during development and may be stored in dry state for predictable periods under defined conditions and examples are apple grapes bay peach plum falsa pomegranate passion fruit custard apple date palm fig guava and now recalcitrant seeds they do not survive drying to any large degree and are thus not amenable to long term storage examples are mango mango steam citrus jackfruit loquat litchi rambutan avocado barbados cherry carambola durian bread fruit coco and dear friends it takes so much efforts by our team to present such useful content which is useful for students who are preparing for different competitive exams if you find this video informative then please subscribe like and share with your friends any kind of suggestions are welcomed don't forget to like and subscribe click on bell icon wait for more videos till then take care